welcome to PLTW Biomedical Science. I am Mrs. Laura Kwaski, and I am the Biomedical Science Department Chairperson at Parkland High School. I would like to tell you about the PLTW Biomedical Science program and the courses we offer. It is an amazing program, and each course provides experiences that immerse students in hands-on, medical-focused problems to solve as they study biomedical course content specific to each course. In this video, I will review the prerequisites for each course, and the course sequence, the college credit opportunities, and what students can expect to study in each course. All four PLTW Biomedical Science courses are honors level elective courses that meet for the full year as a double period every other day. These are the four courses in the Biomedical Science program. If you have completed the first level course, Principles of Biomedical Science 941, also known as PBS, in ninth grade with a C or better, the next course in the sequence you would follow would be the Human Body Systems course, HBS, in 10th grade. The course sequence would then be the Medical Intervention course, MI, in 11th grade, and finally the Biomedical Innovation course, BI, in 12th grade. You can choose to take the PBS course in 10th grade if you haven't taken it in ninth grade. If you take PBS as a 10th grade student, you must also register for Honors Biology to take at the same time, or you may meet the prerequisites already if you fully completed the biology course with a grade of C or better in your 9th grade. If you are currently taking PBS and you are in 10th grade, you can double up and take both the Human Body Systems course and the Medical Interventions course next year in your 11th grade in order to be able to take the Biomedical Innovation final course in 12th grade. This opportunity is based on teacher recommendation and PBS course grades, so please be sure to speak to your current PBS teacher about this. College credit opportunities. Principles of Biomedical Science, Human Body Systems, and the Medical Intervention courses all require an end of course exam. RIT offers college credit for students who earn a qualifying score on the end of course exam for whatever course they took and a qualifying final grade in the PBS course, the HBS course, and or the MI course. More information can be found at RIT's website, which is posted on this slide. And if you have any questions, you can email me anytime. So what do we study in the courses? The Principles of Biomedical Science course begins with a study of a crime scene investigation. And then they focus on clinical care, then outbreaks and emergencies, and finally they study biomedical innovations. In the PBS course, students work as crime scene investigators at the very start of the year to determine the manner and cause of death of a fictitious individual. They determine the time of death and analyze blood spatter evidence, DNA and gel electrophoresis evidence, hair analysis, toxicology findings, and complete other autopsy procedures, including a heart dissection. Next, students are immersed in relevant patient clinical care as they determine patient needs and study various medical careers and procedures involved in gathering patient information. They obtain patient vitals such as blood pressure, pulse, and pulse ox, as well as learning how to draw blood as a phlebotomist. Students then investigate outbreaks and emergencies and assess the medical needs of patients and medical professionals as they are involved in the outbreak and medical emergencies. Finally, students learn how medical professionals and biomedical engineers develop and create innovations to solve medical-focused problems we face today. The Principles of Biomedical Science course is an engaging, student-centered, medical-focused course that allows you to think critically and creatively and apply content to medical-based scenarios. In Human Body Systems course, the second level course, students are involved in various in-depth studies of the anatomy and physiology of the human body through hands-on laboratory investigations, experiments, and projects. Units include a focus on identity, communication, power, movement, protection, and homeostasis. Students begin by taking on the role of forensic anthropologists and DNA analysts, using gel electrophoresis to gather information from skeletal remains to determine their identity. Next, students investigate the nervous system, and in this unit, they will complete a brain dissection as well as an eye dissection. Students learn how to take blood pressure, complete a urinalysis for a fictitious patient, and review symptoms of various patients throughout the course to diagnose and determine treatments for various, various patients throughout the year. Students also build on a mannequin using clay to construct the main organs of the body systems. In medical interventions, the third level course, students study how to fight infection, how to screen what is in your genes, how to conquer cancer, and how to prevail when organs fail. Students study antibiotic resistance, determine the effects of sunscreen on UV-induced mutations in yeast strains, and determine effective treatments for fictitious patients based on microarray analysis results, and they isolate a protein produced after completing the process of bacterial transformation. 
Students study the anatomy of the ear and the physiology of hearing. They create a pedigree for an entire family and they also construct a prosthetic limb. Students complete many investigations throughout the year involving relevant biomedical interventions for preventing, diagnosing, and treating different diseases of very various fictitious patients as they follow an entire family throughout their medical experiences. This includes antibiotic resistance and microarray analyses to determine effective cancer treatments and bacterial transformation with protein isolation using vertical electrophoresis. In biomedical innovation, the final capstone course taken in grade 12, students apply their prior knowledge to develop biomedical innovations related to various medical problems faced today in emergency rooms, public health issues, environmental health concerns, and recombinate DNA technologies and applications. Students design their own emergency room and triage patients based on symptoms and their initial diagnosis. Students also evaluate data using statistical analysis of the data they collect from physiological experiments they designed. Students also study the effects of environmental toxins on the human body and evaluate patient data to determine the cause of disease outbreaks. Students also develop solutions to determine how to combat a public health issue, and students construct and clone recombinant DNA by inserting a gene into a plasmid, transforming the bacteria, isolating the plasmid to determine the direction of the gene insertion. Students analyze and create plasmid maps, and they complete a thorough forensic autopsy of a fetal pig to determine the cause of death. Students complete a year-long project that focuses on a biomedical innovation that they create instead of an end-of-course exam. Students who complete this course earn their PLTW Biomedical Science white coat with their name on it in a special recognition ceremony to recognize their achievements and dedication to the program. Thank you for taking the time to review this presentation. I look forward to meeting you and working with any of you who choose to take the biomedical science courses. Each course is an amazing experience. Have a wonderful rest of your school year, and please feel free to message me anytime if you have any questions about the PLTW Biomedical Science program and courses. Thank you.